Now, I suppose it's time to clear the air about something. There is this thought, I think, by some of you that I am this huge Roman Reigns mark, that I just love the big, strong muscle guy because I'm an 80s guy and do, do, do. That's what makes it work, and that's awesome. Well, if that's the case, then I would have been a fan of Chris Masters and so on and so forth. It's ridiculous, but that's the prevailing thought that some of you have because, frankly, you indeed are ridiculous, especially with some of the bullshit that you come up with. I'm sorry, it's true. Here's my thoughts on Roman Reigns. I do see a guy that can draw money, potentially a lot of money, someday. Now, I have said in the past that I thought WrestleMania 31, even heading before WrestleMania 30, was pointing towards Roman Reigns main eventing that show. And if all things would have worked out well, WrestleMania 31 should have been Roman Reigns' time in my opinion. And it would have been the right time for Roman Reigns. But as you also know, in the months leading up to WrestleMania 31, I talked very much about the problem the WWE had with their main event at WrestleMania 31. And that is, frankly, flat out, they don't have a main event. And I stuck to that, and I said the only option they had was to do Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and then have Seth Rollins cash in and be the champion at the end of the night. Now, of course, since I'm the big muscle mark, I don't like Brock Lesnar, even though those of you that like the smaller, faster, indie type of guys love Brock Lesnar and whatever sense that makes. I'm the big muscle mark, and I love Roman Reigns so much, yet I've been advocating for months that the only decision, the only option the WWE had was to have Seth Rollins be the champion at the end of the night. That makes a lot of sense to me. Now, I get it because I came out very strongly against Daniel Bryan winning the Royal Rumble and main eventing WrestleMania. You automatically think that. You think that because of other things from the past, whatever the case might be. I think Roman Reigns is a talent. I think he's still got quite a ways to go to be a main event talent. I think the fact that he was even in the position at WrestleMania 31 to be in that main event spot it was kind of ridiculous, frankly. I mean, he, he wasn't ready. And now maybe sometimes you're never ready until you're actually given that chance to show what you could do and you prove that you're ready. But he was a long ways from ready. And part of that was because of that key period of time between September and December that he missed due to that hernia operation. However, there were things that this company could have done a lot better throughout 2014 that would have helped get Roman Reigns better prepared for 2015. And I stand by that. And I think if different things were done, things would have felt a lot different heading into that main event at WrestleMania 31, perhaps. However, now I'm sitting here and I'm wondering, why do you still hate Roman Reigns? Yes, I understand that he represents a lot of what you think is wrong with the WWE today. And that is that they always prefer the guys that have the big, great looks even though over the past several years, the last three guys they primarily really featured and focused on have been CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, and Seth Rollins, none of whom are going to be considered monsters, none of whom that would clearly fit into that muscle-bound freak type of steroided monster category. It's CM Punk is Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins. It's three smaller guys coming from years on the independent scene that are a different type of performer than what the WWE usually likes to feature in their main event. So, you know, I obviously understand why so many of you think that the WWE just has this big hard on for muscles. In a way, they do, but it's not completely, totally matching the current reality of the company. It's just not. It just isn't. And I understand that many of you were upset because you really wanted Daniel Bryan to win. Because you think that him main eventing WrestleMania 31 against Brock Lesnar would have been anything other than ridiculous. But it didn't happen, and it wasn't meant to happen, and it wasn't going to happen. And frankly, based off of the way the WWE views Daniel Bryan, as you can already see with what they're doing so far with him as the Intercontinental Champion, it's a damn good thing it didn't happen. You think the dynamics of Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns were bad in their feud heading into WrestleMania 31. How the hell was it going to work for Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar? It wasn't going to be any better, and perhaps it would have been even worse. Sad to say... That's the truth, the way I see it. Now, 
let me let me back up here for just a second. Understand that when you look at Roman Reigns and you see all these different types of options, the different types of guys, you thought there were several different options that were potentially better to win the 2015 Royal Rumble. Many of you, of course, had your zinger clearly fixated on Daniel Bryan winning. It was Daniel Bryan FTW because Daniel Bryan has to fucking win everything and he has to be honest with the debate money for the rest of the world. Uh, but it didn't happen. It wasn't going to happen and it shouldn't have happened, frankly. So a lot of you were very upset when Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble. Again, it really didn't matter who was going to win the 2015 Royal Rumble because there really wasn't a good main event match, one-on-one -on -one situation, no matter who the fuck it was. It doesn't matter if it was Daniel Bryan or Bray Wyatt or Dolph Ziggler or Dean Ambrose or Ryback, Randy Orton, frankly, as well. There just really wasn't a really good situation. There wasn't a really clear-cut favorite here. So why not... At a time where still so many of you rightfully so harp on the fact that the WWE can't create new stars, why not try to create another new star in a Roman Reigns? When so many of you claim that you are tired of the same old shit from WWE and you want something different, here's a bigger guy in an era of WWE that isn't all that particularly big, a freaking Samoan with long hair and movie star looks that the ladies are going to fawn over. Why can't there be one of those at the top of the company? Why can't there be one of those in the main event scene? But, of course, it is what it is. Then, of course, the WWE really outdid themselves in their stupidity by deciding to have Daniel Bryan be served up on a platter to Roman Reigns at Fastlane. And, of course, that made you hate him even more, and you really started to fear that Roman Reigns was going to be the champion heading out of WrestleMania 31. But at the end of the day, that didn't happen. Roman Reigns didn't win the championship at WrestleMania 31. In fact, Roman Reigns did the honors for Seth Rollins, so your boy Seth Rollins could be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion coming out of WrestleMania 31. Roman Reigns went to the main event of WrestleMania and lost. Ate the pinfall. But yet so many of you still hate him. And now you've had a Triple threat, number one contenders match, that main event of Raw this week, and Roman Reigns didn't win that either. He's not going to be main eventing extreme rules for the title, and yet so many of you are going to hate him. The WWE is clearly more fixated on Seth Rollins right now than they are Roman Reigns, and yet so many of you still want to hate him. So many of you that seem to love WrestleMania 31 for whatever the fuck reason will be lost to me forever in history... And so many of you that loved, in particular, that main event, that frankly I love too, pretty much everything about it, you still hate Roman Reigns. Well, newsflash, even if you don't want to give the guy credit, even if you don't want to like the guy, the fact of the matter is, he was a part of that main event too. It wasn't just Brock Lesnar that made that main event work. It wasn't just the finish with Seth Rollins that made that main event work. It was Roman Reigns too. You can't sit there and give this guy credit and this guy credit, but not give this guy credit just because you want to have an axe to grind against him. You want to have a bias against him and just because you want to hate him. And I don't get it. The guy didn't win the title. If you're still pissed off about him winning the Rumble over Daniel Bryan, get the fuck over it. If you're still mad about him because he represents this concept or this idea that the WWE has had for so many years in the past again. Look at the few new stars they've so-called created over the past few years. They've all been smaller guys that spent a decade or so or close to it on the independent scene, the guys that you love the most in CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, and Seth Rollins, the guys that already had a huge fan base when they came into the fold. You know, at some point in time, how the hell can WWE ever create a big-time star, not just because of their total and complete incompetence, from a writing and creative standpoint, and from the leadership at the top of that creative process as well, but from the fact that if these guys don't spend years on the independent scene, if these guys don't work a certain type of way, if these guys don't have a certain type of size, preferably five foot ten or under, because that's usually what you fucking like, then they're never going to be a star, and they're never going to get all the way over. Now, sure, you'll have that kind of aberration of somebody like a Bray Wyatt, you know, you'll have somebody like a Cesaro, but then again, Cesaro spent years and years on the independent scene. And what I don't understand is now Roman Reigns has gotten to that moment at WrestleMania, and he's gotten hosed, you know, character-wise. He lost. He did the job, not Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns did. Roman Reigns didn't 
beat Orton or Ryback. He's not wrestling for the title at Extreme Rules. And frankly, right now, he's stuck in the position of so many characters on that show. He has no real point. He has no real purpose. Yet, for some reason, it's always almost become therapeutic for you to boo him just because of the fear that he might become Cena 2.0. Well, if he was going to become Cena 2.0, then he would have thrown Seth Rollins on top of Brock Lesnar and pinned the fuck out of both of them at WrestleMania 31. Why are you hating on a guy for the fear of what he may become when, frankly, he might never get to that level ever again? I don't get it. Why do you still hate Roman Reigns so much? It's kind of sad in a way. Get over it. I'm hoping at some point in time... He'll kind of go down a path like Ryback in the sense that you can see that Roman Reigns, maybe they missed an opportunity with him at some point in time. Maybe he deserved to be treated a little bit better. He's paid enough dues now. You think he's more ready. And he'll find one little niche of something with this character that you can latch onto a little bit like Ryback has with Feed Me More. He'll get over the right way as a baby face, and then the people will really start to gravitate to him. And then, of course, at that time is when the WWE won't want to go all the way with him to see Ryback. But again, I understand this whole fear of him getting this big monster push, but he lost at WrestleMania. He's not wrestling Rollins for the title at Extreme Rules. He frankly, as a character, doesn't have a direction right now. Some type of monster push. His monster push has involved over the past few months him wrestling the big show and Kane several fucking times. I don't think that classifies as a monster push for any fucking buddy. And frankly, wrestling Daniel Bryan and beating him, well... Shit, that's going to happen. And maybe that's what it is. You just don't like the fact that he got put in a certain spot over a Daniel Bryan. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a hell of a time for you to try and enjoy the WWE going forward. Because I assure you, if that's your philosophy, uh, you better get prepared for the fact that just about everybody is going to be featured better than Daniel Bryan. Just about everybody is going to be more important than Daniel Bryan. And everybody's going to be presented better damn near than Daniel Bryan. Stop taking the shit out of Roman Reigns. If you don't really like them, you don't really like them, then so fucking be it. I just don't understand why people are so passionate about this crap. When he lost at WrestleMania, he's not the fucking champion. He's not wrestling for the title, at least at this moment, that I know of at Extreme Rules. The fuck? Let it go. Get over it. Now maybe give the guy a chance. Maybe you'll realize he was actually a part of that WrestleMania main event that you liked so much even before Seth Rollins cashed in. Maybe you'll find out once you get rid of the suffering succotash and the Jack and the Giant Beanstalk shit that maybe the guy's not that bad and he's a nice, decent, athletic talent for a guy of his size. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. You want to let me know why you still hate Roman Reigns? Fine, go ahead. I don't care. I probably won't read it because it'll probably be a bunch of pointless drivel crap. I hate him because, because, because Daniel Bryan's awesome. I hate Roman Reigns because he is John Cena 2.0, even though Seth Rollins won the belt of WrestleMania. Wonder. No wonder the WWE struggles to create new scars. Not only their own their stupidity, but frankly the fans, our stupidity as well.